Good morning everyone, it is Sunday the 29th of March. This is our Moravian Bible study for the day and um, it's from Psalm 130. So if you've read the other bits of the Moravian reading and not the Psalm, just pause, read Psalm 130. I'm going to read it through now and pick out some stuff that I think speak powerfully into our situation. Uh, psalm 130 is a psalm of hope. It speaks hope to us. And this is what it says. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. What a honest, transparent prayer. The psalmist turns to God uh, from that place of despair, the depths of despair. Um, at a time of crisis, at a, a time of isolation, at a time of uncertainty. Um, it, it's okay to feel a sense of despair. What on earth is going on in the world? What is the point of it all? It, but it's what you do with that despair. And the psalmist models to us a very powerful response to our own internal feelings. And that's to turn it to prayer, to, as it says, cry out to God for mercy. And as we enter verse three, the psalmist does something incredibly powerful. He reminds himself and us of God's unchanging nature. That is the solution to despair. Verse three, Lord, if you kept a record of sins, who could stand? But with you, there is forgiveness. Therefore, you are feared. The sort of awe and respect that comes from knowing that God could judge us and yet he is merciful to us. Verse five, we then move into this really important um, description of what true hope looks for. It looks like uh, waiting on God. Indeed, the Hebrew word hope and wait, uh, kavar or kovar, are the same word, to wait and to hope. So it says, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word, I put my hope. So in a sense, waiting is all about hope, isn't it? If you didn't have to wait for something, then there'd be no need for hope. We have hope because we are waiting for an end to a uh, pandemic, a virus. Um, so we have to hope in God. And the psalmist says, in his word, we put our hope in his word. What does God's word say about this situation, about who God is in this situation, about how we can live in this situation? My soul waits for the Lord, verse six, more than watchmen wait for morning, more than watchmen wait for the morning. It's the image of someone on a night shift, perhaps say a military guard waiting for morning to rise. And of course, <laughs> the earth continues to turn, folks. No matter what's going on in our lives, the earth continues to turn. And as surely as we have had night, morning will come once again. Uh, we wait with certainty. And, and there's a sense I want to speak to us today that when we're thinking about COVID-19, the situation we are in, this too will pass. This too will pass. As surely as morning comes, it may take some time, but we put our hope in God and in his word. I was reading earlier that um, one of the original root meanings for uh, kavar, kavar, the word wait, or to, the word hope, is to bind together like the twisting of a rope. Uh, and it's a process. So if you think about like maybe fixing onto a point three strips of string and then sort of threading them across each other, binding them together into a three stranded cord, which Ecclesiastes says is not easily broken, then uh, it's the process of that takes time that makes us strong. That's how you make a strand strong. It speaks of community. It speaks of being bound together with God. It speaks of a, a process that produces strength. That's what hope is. Verse seven, O Israel, perhaps I should say, O frontline, put your hope in the Lord 
For with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. Oh, I love that. It's not just partial redemption, it's full redemption. The writer of the Hebrews, I think it's the King James that I learned as a kid, says that he's able to save to the uttermost. God doesn't do things by part. He will finish what he started. The good work that he started in you, he will complete, Philippians chapter 1. He will himself redeem Israel from their sins. So as we wait, we hope. And as we wait, we are being woven together into something stronger that, uh, that takes us through this time. And as surely as um, day follows night, God will bring about his redemption for his people. Amen.